You know what, guys? I'm so sorry. I don't know why I act so silly when I do a YouTube video. Like, Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Adiola. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you're new, please make sure you subscribe, help a sister out. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back again. I really hope you're enjoying my content. It's the only thing that's keeping us, well, keeping me going in, during this, this current climate. I don't want to say the Q or C word, so I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different, just a little something out of the box for me, do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> Why am I so nervous to film this? So today, as you can see by the title, this video is about the things I've done in the past that make me cringe now. Oh. Guys, <laughs> some of these are just, <laughs> nah, some of these are so cringe, I can't even lie. It makes me feel sick to my stomach. Like, why, like, why did I do this? Why did I do this? I'm hoping some of you lot can <laughs> relate to some of these things because, bruh. <laughs> if you want to see what I've done in the past that make me cringe now, keep on watching, guys. Okay, so the first thing is, Sorry, I was just throw up in my mouth a little bit. I kissed Tim Westwood on the lips. <laughs> right, yeah, so we all know Tim Westwood. <laughs> yeah, um, one night I just got hella drunk, like literally I was paralytic, like projectile vomit. Like, <sighs> just literally sick everywhere. But um, yeah, before I um, threw up on myself and everywhere, um, Tim Westwood was hosting at a club one night and um, I think it was for my friend's birthday. So we all went, we all got dressed up and that. Yeah, the drinks were flowing. I had one too many. I had three too many, I think. <laughs> and then, yeah, so, uh, do you know what? I'm just gonna play the video because this is hella embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Why did I do this? Guys, someone please explain why I did that. I fully went to him. Oh, why did, I do? why did he even kiss me back? Why did he do that? Why did he do that? Oh, I feel sick to my stomach. Why did I do that? Let me just, let me just watch it again. You know what? Okay, it was a peck, but still, my lips touched Tim Westwood's lips. I'm sorry, but who can? <laughs> I know this is nothing to be proud of, but who can actually say that they kissed Tim Westwood <laughs> on the lips? No one, apart from his wife. I really hope I don't get in trouble about this. You know, teen drinking is very bad. <laughs> Yeah, 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 drinking is really bad guys, don't drink because shit like that happens. Let's move on to the next thing because I can't breathe right now. Okay, so the next thing that I used to do that makes me cringe now more than ever so basically, obviously, I feel like everyone knows this now, but if you don't know, I'm from Essex. I grew up in Essex. I used to live in London, but this was when I was like up to the age of like, I'm going to say like 10 years old. So that part of my life was very, you know, insignificant. So I would basically class myself as an Essex girl. I feel like me living in London wasn't that long enough for me to warrant this 
accent that I used to put on all the time. First time I ever went to uni was in um, Hertfordshire and literally the majority of the people I used to hang around with were from London. So every time I would meet someone new, they would be like, oh, where are you from? I would have to say Essex. And I feel like at that time, it wasn't cool to be from Essex. Nowhere's cool to live. At. You get what I mean, right? But it just wasn't cool to live in Essex them times. <laughs> so obviously I used to say to people that I was from Essex, but people started taking, not taking the piss out of my accent, but they was like, oh my God, shut up, shut up. You know that thing that people do? when you realise that people that someone's from Essex so they automatically relate it back to that only way is Essex feel like program. So yeah I got a bit sick of that so I thought now nah, this this accent has to go like <laughs> so I started I started talking like this yeah <gasps> oh, God <laughs> So I started talking like this yeah so no one would think that I was actually from Essex so <sighs> guys but do you know what i just couldn't i couldn't keep it up anymore so sometimes a london accent would sound a bit wayward i can't even lie because now that i'm looking back on it anyway let me show you this video and you see what i mean because oh this is so embarrassing it's so cringe you know the ones when you have to take off your makeup because you just sprayed it all off it's a matting still did, did he disappoint though no oh! God, why? <laughs> it can't have just been me, guys. Honestly, like, come on. Everyone must have put on an accent at one time in their life. Oh, I don't understand why I did this, guys. Why can't I just been proud of where I came from? Why can't I have just been proud? Do you know what? It's people, it's, it's other people's fault because they kept asking me where I was from. No one, no one got that treatment if you was from London. So I don't know why people always used to ask me where I was from. Guys, seriously. You know the ones when you have to take off your makeup? Because you just sprayed it all off. It's a matting still. Did, did he disappoint though? No. Do you know what? I want to say something else as well. I blame my friends for letting me speak this way. You knew that this was not my real accent. Why? Why was you letting me speak like this? Why? It's just not acceptable, is it? That that is that is just awful. And do you know what gassed me even more that day? Obviously, I went to go and see gigs. Like my favorite rapper, probably in the world. You know, he's probably gonna be at my wedding. Like, yeah. So obviously, every time I listen to gigs, I just get into this this mode where I feel like I'm from from South London, and I'm not. I'm not from South London. I'm from deep inside Essex. <laughs> I am basically a farmer. Why did I feel like it was acceptable to sound like this? Oh God, no. Never again. Never again. Chanel! I should actually be ashamed of myself. Like, legit. I'm not even joking. Bearing in mind, I could probably go on for days, but I feel like... A lot of these other things are just too embarrassing for me to even say on camera. So this is the last one I'm gonna do. The last one was this hairstyle, guys. Yes. I don't know why I thought this hairstyle was acceptable. Do you know what? Let me t tell you some background knowledge on this hairstyle. I used to be obsessed with Rihanna. I mean, I still am, but back in the day, I was obsessed with her. And she did one hairstyle. I'm gonna try and find it and put a picture up. But she did one hairstyle and I thought, oh my God, I really want that hairstyle. It looks so nice on her, right? So I've took the picture and I've gone to Upton Park. If you know, you know. Basically, there's loads and loads of hairdressers there and they do your hair for cheap. Half the time, it's not very good. Anyway, so I went to the shop and everything, bought the extensions that I needed to do this hairstyle. Yeah, so she was doing it, doing it, doing it. I'm thinking, okay, this is going well. Lovely, lovely. Oh, lovely. Look at that. That's pucker, that. So she finished and the hair, bearing in mind, Rihanna's hair, you can see it again. Like, look here, right? Rihanna's hair is nice and flat. You know, it's, it doesn't look like it's fighting with gravity. Mine, on the other hand, was fighting with gravity. What, what is this hill? on top of my head, please. 
And do you know what makes it worse? I thought it was nice. I literally thought this was a nice hairstyle when I did it. I was proud to walk around like this. Guys, seriously, really? Are you being serious? Like, what is this bit as well? Guys, I've regretted many, many things in my life. And, you know, going forward, I hope. I just feel sorry for my friends at this point. Like, how can you be friends with someone like this? I am an embarrassment. <laughs> that's that's what I am. I'm an embarrassment. But do you know what? You live and you learn, guys. You live and you learn. Yeah, so anyways, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really want you guys to share your stories as well. I can't be the only person that's got these really embarrassing stories. So please share your stories with me. Let's please just all laugh together because I feel like we need it at this point. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye guys.